I'm Bailey Wellhausen here with Admiral Defenseman Matt Donovan and the only and first Oklahoma native to play in the NHL. Is that correct? Yes, that is wow, correct. Wow, that's, yeah. pr that's pretty cool. That's a like claim to fame. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool to be able to say. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about growing up in Oklahoma. Is there um, a lot of hockey there? Yeah, or? not a lot of hockey. Um, my dad's originally from Boston, and he moved to Oklahoma when he was in college. He, he was on an exchange program and went to college in a small town in Oklahoma. And Met my mom and liked it and <laughs> stayed there and moved to Oklahoma City and got married. And um, yeah, he's worked. He, he kind of he was into hockey, obviously, in, in, in high school and growing up in, in college being from Boston. So he, he found men's league hockey and, and eventually played a little like three games professional hockey for the Oklahoma City Blazers oh, and the awesome. CHL. Yeah, um, I think at the time he was the oldest um rookie to ever play in a wow. CHL game. Yeah. <laughs> they needed some extra bodies. So he was playing men's league and the coach was like, hey, come play <laughs> Pretty for big us. Call up. Yeah, yeah, big call up. So um, yeah, so no, he's uh, he's ran a rink ever since I was born. He's moved around a couple different rinks in Oklahoma City, but still runs a rink to this day. Oh, that's awesome. Is yeah. that kind of how you got started? Definitely. Hockey? Did yeah. he, was he the one that just put you on the ice? Yeah, there? <laughs> um, I think I was on skates before I could walk. So, <laughs> so yeah, awesome. I've been a, a rink rat my whole life. That's awesome. And you have, I see you're wearing your uh, apparel. Yep. You have your own company. Can yep. you tell me a little bit about, you know, how that started, what it's all yeah, about? Yeah, so I've, I've always been big into giving back to Oklahoma City Youth Hockey because that's mm -hmm. how I grew up and I, I want kids to to love it just like I love it. Of and course. obviously it's, Lily, it's not very big, but I'm hoping to grow it. And um, yeah, so I started this company this past summer, hoping to raise money for Oklahoma City Youth Hockey, um, give back um, my time um, and money, donate as much money as I can through sales of uh, sweatshirts, hats, apparel, different apparel, and giving lessons and, and running camps in Oklahoma City. Um, hopefully it'll it'll kind of spread out and we can do camps other places and, and it'll get bigger and bigger and hopefully raise more and more money. That's awesome. And what's the story behind the name, Sasquatch? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, there was a show called Finding Bigfoot uh, okay. a couple of years back. Yep. Uh, a group of uh, my friends and I loved the show, thought it was awesome. Um, and that's how it kind of got started. We, we were infatuated with Sasquatch. so. <laughs> I just rolled with it. And it kind of has ties to Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, a lot of sightings in oh, Oklahoma. Have you so, ever seen no, Sasquatch? I've never seen one. Not but, yet. but it's funny, I, once I started this company, I get tons of people that come up to me and say, I've seen Sasquatch before. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I have not seen them, but I have had lots of people come and tell so me that. So keep an they, eye out, everyone. Yeah, I mean, they're out there. So. Let them know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now, transitioning into kind of your, your hockey career, you did play in Europe for a little bit, I yep. know, in Sweden, right? Yep. Um, what, how is that different, you know, from playing here? And what did you learn playing out there and coming back, kind of? How was um, that transition? Obviously, it's bigger ice. It's Olympic ice, so the ice mm -hmm. sheet is bigger, so you need to control the puck a lot more. Um, you're not flipping it up off the glass and getting it out of your zone. You're always trying to hold on to it as long as possible and making direct passes, so it definitely uh, improves your, your stick skills and your puck protection skills. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to um, bring those into my game back here in North America. That's awesome. Any cool places you visited in Sweden? That um, yeah, all the to? all the main cities in Sweden that have hockey teams. But while you're over there, it's really easy to um, go to other countries and, and visit. So the last two Christmases, uh, my family and I went to London and wow. Paris, and then last year for Olympic break, we got to go to Dubai. So oh my goodness, That's yeah, amazing. it's it's pretty cool to be over there and and travel and, and get to see things that you probably wouldn't be able to see um, just living over here and and having to travel all that way to get there. You're already over there, so it's pretty short travel. Pretty cool to spend Christmas out there too. I'm yeah, sure. definitely. You're gonna be back home for Christmas now? Um, yeah, so um, <laughs> we have a little one right now, two and a half year old son, and oh my, my wife's goodness. pregnant again, so. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So we're not gonna fly home um, just with the travel is a little mm. hard, but we'll go to Chicago and, and spend a couple days there. and. Um, yeah, just have a quiet Christmas this now year. Now I hear you bring your little one on the ice after practices sometimes. Is yep. he 
into hockey already is yeah he's i mean we're, definitely be a defenseman like you well we <laughs> right now he thinks he's going to be a goalie or oh. or a fighter so a fighter. I, <laughs> he doesn't care awesome. much about the puck um <laughs> i think every night we're in the basement playing hockey um I make a little tunnel for him and announce his name, and, really? and he loves oh it. Yeah, goodness. he loves it. So that is incredible. I, I think I have to announce his name coming out of the tunnel probably thirty <laughs> times a night. So that's his favorite part right now. He doesn't really care about shooting the puck in the net or anything. He just wants to come out of the tunnel. It's all about the fame for him. Yeah, yeah. He just loves the spotlight. That is so, so awesome. Oh my goodness. And you have a dog, Boone. Yeah, right? Boone. Yeah. How is he doing? Um, he's hairy. Um, <laughs> what kind of dog is it? He's a golden retriever um, and has a lot of hair. Uh, I right. probably have a ton <laughs> on me right now. Yeah, here's a little bit right here. Um, <laughs> oh no, gosh. he's a great dog. He's very chill. Um, when did you get him? We got him when he was eight weeks old. Um, it was my wife's graduation gift out of wow. college. So yeah, oh. got her got her puppy. Lucky. Yeah, no, he's a great dog. I want that for my, <laughs> would have liked that for my graduation. <laughs> Uh, so what's your favorite part of the team this year? Kind of get into that team aspect. Um, you know, the season, what do you think you guys are, I mean, you know, how are you doing? Winning's the best part. Yeah, Obviously that's we're, true. <laughs> we're doing well and, and that helps everything. Um, yeah. The guys are great, the staff, everyone involved in the, in the team, in the organization, to the owner all the way down has been unbelievable. So, yeah, Jamie's awesome. <laughs> um, Charlie's all awesome, everyone. <laughs> So yeah, it's 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 been great so far. That's awesome. Thank you, Matt, and congrats on the season thus far. Good luck with the rest of your season. We'll be back in a moment with the second period on my twenty-four.